Welcome back to Perfect Country Reaction. Y'all don't want to know the conversation that was happening just this before. This guy is fucking weird. And by the way, he's Keith. Yeah. I'm Dustin. He's music. I'm bourbon. This is a bribe. Yes. Yeah. From Freddie. Freddie. Yeah. Freddie sent us a bribe. Redemption High Rye Bourbon. High Rye Bourbon. So it's a so, bourbon. Yeah, it's a it's a bourbon with a high rye content. Yeah. Like maybe a Woodford Reserve style thing. I'm not sure I've had this. I don't think I have. I've had some redemptions and I'm not sure I've had this one. So That one looks like it's really well sealed. I well, predict Dustin's gonna go to the blade. Nah, I think I'm alright. You sure man? Maybe. He's going to the blade. Nope. Oh. Got one of them cigarette pack tops. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Freddie requested an Alan Jackson song Ooh. with this called Drive. You like to drive. I I do like to drive. I enjoy driving, too. Just not as much as you. I like, to, that's a high bar. I tend to drive a little fast, though. Well, I'm a hooligan occasionally. Yes, you are. <laughs> Just saying. That's yeah. I'll, I'll keep I'll keep yeah, Dustin keep, out of trouble. Thank you, and maybe jail. We'll say what what was coming to mind yeah. there. <laughs> you keep those lips shut. Here's your high rye bourbon, high, sir. High rye bourbon. All right. All right. All right. So, so what song? Alan Jackson drive. Drive. So the last Alan Jackson we checked out was Midnight in Montgomery. That was a cool tune. Which turned out to be a really freaking cool tune. Yeah. Apparently they were there were Hank Senior references through the entire song, which none of which we got right until the last lyric. Right, and we're like, wait, wait, <laughs> yeah. So, all right, here's here's our, our next Alan Jackson. Like that man, Is that what that was? Yeah, it was good too. The stripe was white, it was 18 feet, and about a stern line. Second hand from a dealer in Atlanta, I rode up with Daddy when he went there to get her. Put on a shine, put on a motor, built out of love, made for water. <laughs> Ran her for years till her transom got rotten, a piece of my childhood that'll never be forgotten. It was. Just an old plywood boat with 75 Johnson with electric choke. A young boy, two hands on the wheel. I can't replace the way it made me feel. And I would turn a shark out, make it whine. He'd say, You can't beat the way an old wood boat rides. Just a little lake across the Alabama line. But I was king of the ocean when daddy let me. That was unexpected. Just an old half ton. So, like, how many dudes can relate to this, though, right? I think he's getting ready to talk about dri- switching from, you know, the boat to the car. To the, car. To the wheels. Yeah. I, I remember, um, I think I was five, maybe four. And dad let me sit in the driver's seat of the Chevelle and told me I could rev the engine. (laughs) So I had a high performance 396 SS motor, 4,000 RPMs the whole time he was in there. I'm sure the whole neighborhood was like ready to kill me. What the hell is that racket? (laughs) Yeah. They let me drive. Just an old half ton, short bit Ford. My uncle bought new in 64. Daddy got it right, cause the engine was smoking. A couple of burnt valves and he had it going. He let me drive her, and we'd haul off a load down a dirt strip where we'd dump trash off a thick tin road. I'd sit up in the seat and stretch my feet out to the pedals, smiling like a hero. Just received his medal, it was just an old hand-me-down Ford with three speed on the column and a dent in the door. A young boy, two hands on the wheel. I can't replace the way it made me feel and I would stretch that club. 
touch and I keep it right, he'd say, a little sore son, you're doing just fine. Just a dirt road with trash on each side, but I was Mary Andre when Daddy let me drive. Who is it? Me. Yeah, you I'm not. Mario's still faster than I'll ever think about being. I'm grown up now, three daughters of mom. Let them drive my old Jeep across the pasture at our home. Maybe one day they'll reach back in their file and pull out that old memory and think of me and smile and say, it's just an old worn out Jeep, rusty old floorboards, hot on my feet. A young girl, this is broken. two hands on the so wheel. Clear. I can't replace the way it made me feel. And he'd say, turn it left and steer it right. Just a little valley by the river where we ride, but I was high on mountain when Daddy let me drive. When Daddy let me drive. Oh, he let me drive. She's just an old plywood boat. With a 75 Johnson with electric choke. Huh. I, I'm going to make a guess. You guys tell us. When this came out, it was on maximum rotation on every country radio station in America. Right? How could it not be? Yeah. I'm guessing that. You guys tell me if it was that popular. Did it get played? Because it should have. Uh, yeah, I mean, pure, pure country. Pure nostalgia song, pure country. Yep. Makes me think of like uh, John Fogarty's Center Field. You know, put me in coach. Right. <laughs> you know, I'm, yeah, because every guy, uh-huh. like. Can, it's a visual. It's, it's a feeling. It's a story. And, and it, it was a rite of passage for pretty much everybody. True. Song did make me think of teaching my boy to drive. It was by circumstance, but I was it was kind of evil. Oh God, he helped teach my boy to drive too. This ought to be good. <laughs> so, what made it evil wasn't me. It was the car he had to learn on. It's the only car I had. Okay. It was a, a Mitsubishi Lancer Evo Ten. <laughs> which has stick. one of the stick which right. has one of the trickiest clutches I've ever driven and so I had him in a parking lot at the state capitol we're going to go from standing to third gear and back down turn around just keep doing it terrible clutch to learn on kid was frustrated um, <laughs> and understandably so I mean he was stalling it he finally got it and he got a standard later, and I rode with him, and he was buttery smooth shifting <laughs> that thing. And I knew it was because he learned on an evil clutch mm-hmm. that hated you. Mm-hmm. Uh, <coughs> he learned me. the hard way. He learned on a real tough clutch. Was it white? He, yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. I thought I heard about that car. Yeah, I did some evil things in that car. You had two white ones, didn't you? Yeah, oh. a white one and a blue one. That's right. One of them got painted. Yeah, the, the white one guy. Just kind of pull it into the garage. Change color. <laughs> Don't know how that happened. That's weird. <laughs> I was going down the highway real fast, and I was behind this paint truck. What happened was... yeah. So, yeah, for those of you that don't know, I have a history of just showing up at random with a sports car. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's Keith. That That's Keith. Yeah, Joe... Joanna finds it frustrating, I think. Does she? I don't know if she laughs. Probably about not it. anymore. I think she's she, kind of used to it. I think it. she's used to it now. Yeah. You kind of desensitized her to it. Good job. Yeah, I think the Corvette broke her. <laughs> <laughs> it comes rumbling into the garage sounding like Armageddon, and hey, she's like, that the, does not sound Japanese. The evil got painted again. 
It was was it black? Right? Yeah, black. But... This time it's black. I don't know what happened. It's crazy paint trucks out there. <laughs> so, uh, so cool ass cool story song. Too. Cool, cool nostalgia yeah. song. Yeah, it had to have been popular. You it let us know. Had, yeah, had tell to us. Have been. Um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this bourbon. It's good. It's super smooth. It's ridiculously smooth. Like, it's so smooth that you kind of even would question, is it 80 proof? Yes, true. And, and I think it's probably a little higher than that. I would agree. The What I'll say, though, is the smoothness is its best quality. Almost too good. It's almost too smooth. But it's not watered down. So it's got a, a pretty strong lemon-lime flavor. Mm-hmm. Then the mid's just corn sweet, nothing else. And the finish is just a light touch of oak, but it's one of those that has the effect of drying your tongue out. Right, and it does, if you take a bigger drink, the oak kind of sticks back there and then the ripe pepper pops up a little bit as it as it Let me try the bigger fades drink. out. Yep, the raw peppers there. It pops in. This is this is a pretty decent pour, man. Yeah. Um, I don't know what uh, Freddie paid for this one. What would you pay for it? Probably forty forty five bucks. I was gonna say forty five fifty. Yeah, that's about the range. I I think this probably belongs in. I think it stands right up there with. Hmm. This would be, like. This would be a reasonable starter. To rise, true. A if you bridge like bourbons, to rise. If you like bourbons, this would be a really good bridge over to rise. This is their pre-prohibition rye reveal revival. Well, I'm gonna make a guess. Yeah, and say it's ninety. Well, it's sixty percent corn. I said I meant no, proof. That can't be right. What well, can't be right? Oh yeah, sixty does. Sixty is more than fifty. I'm stupid. Wow. <laughs> It's 60% corn. Okay. It's 36% rye. It's pretty close to Woodford's. It is. Uh, what'd you say it was? I said 90. 92. Man, I'm on a roll. You're back. I'm back. <laughs> He's back. Stephen kept sending us high-end stuff that was throwing us off. Well, high-end, <laughs> high-proof. High-proof. We like, high whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Yeah, so... Um, Really cool song. Yeah. Uh, f- caused me to flash back to a million different times. Um, darn like, good. Like teaching bourbon. my boy how to break. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> you know, the only dickish part about it was that I was doing it on public roads. And in my truck. Now, granted, those roads were completely empty. Completely empty. There wasn't another car for like. We probably ought to change my brakes again soon. After that, they're probably burnt. <laughs> I can smell them. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, your boy learned how to break, though. I, well, yeah, true. Got a headache from it. Probably hurt his neck. But he knows how to stop a truck. He does. <laughs> In an emergency. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, go ahead and give us a like. Subscribe to the channel. Drop down in the comments. Tell us what country music we need to check out, what North American whiskey we need to try. And we will see you guys next time. See you.